Hey guys, Buffing Game Bad today, bringing you another video. And today, for our Warzone weapons here in Rebirth Island, we're covering a Modern Warfare 2 weapon, the Maliuk. And with this weapon, they just did the Modern Warfare 2 visual recoil adjustments here in Modern Warfare Season 3 for Modern Warfare 3. So, all the Modern Warfare 2 weapons, they reduce the amount of visual recoil on the weapon. So, the effects that you see when firing flashes, smoke, things like that, allows you to have easier visual recoil, similar to the Modern Warfare 3 weapon. So, Makes a lot of the Modern Warfare 2 weapons more viable. Going to show you this build and then we'll walk through some gameplay here on Rebirth Island and looking at this Maliac build and how it's really, really uh, surprised me and it's just kind of a beast, very accurate. So go ahead back out here. You'll see we're running TR-76 Geist, which is the Ukrainian Maliuk, firing 7.62 by 39 millimeter. So as you can see for the attachments, they're going to run that uh, Fright 40 barrel. It's going to be the one with the attached integral suppressor so going to give you undetectable by radar because of the suppressor recoil control bullet velocity and damage at range as pros cons are aimed on sight speed aim walking speed aim idle sway and movement speed and if you look at it you're going to get 18 percent across the board for recoil and damage range is going to be plus two and then bullet velocity plus 27 with a ads penalty of 42 percent but we're using a laser attachment so it should mitigate most of that so for the laser attachment, you can see here the uh, Z or VLK 7ZR. So you can see it's going to help with the aim stability, uh, help out increase our aim down sight speed by 3%, which really doesn't do too much given the penalties for the barrel. But again, still helps out here and just adds to the aim stability of the weapon. So leave that on there. Got to run the aim op V4 for precision sight pitcher. Again, just a, just a good Modern Warfare 2 optic there, that aim point. Back out, we're going to run the STIP 66 grip. This is going to be for recoil control and gun kicks. So this is going to give us 7% across the board with no penalties. Whoops. And uh, or aiming out of sway is a penalty, but that's it. And then Lockwood precision grip for the foregrip here. Going to help us out with 9% recoil across the board. 8% increase in aimed on sight speed, so that's not helping us. But again, the accuracy for this is really good, and it does good in the close to medium range. So here's the TR-76 Geist, or the... Ukrainian Maliuk in 7.62 by 39 millimeter, that Russian cartridge, same round as the AK-103. Jumping into the fire range of this thing, and then we'll jump into the game. So you can see here, we'll look at the recoil for this thing. First off, the inspect, just awesome overall. Love that inspect, and I love the reload animation with this. Let's put this up to three plates, so check it out here. You can see how accurate it is. That long target, I mean, we're still hitting shots. And that's the kind of a distance you'll see me in the gameplay mount. But again, it hits really, really hard. So, really good weapon here. You'll see a little bit of the attack stance also. TR-76 Geist or the Ukrainian Maliuk. That reload animation, I love how it kicks the magazine. Let's go ahead now and jump into the gameplay, and I'll walk you guys through this Rebirth win with the Ukrainian Maliuk 7.62 by 39 millimeter here on Rebirth Island, Season 3 of Modern Warfare 3. So here we go, jump into the gameplay here for this, and you can see we're gonna, we started here down at uh, Stronghold. So down here at Stronghold, I'm going to just go ahead now and zip up to uh this house here this is the house we like to take stronghold is a great spot to land and then like to land up here at uh this spot this house here just try and secure this. this is a good spot to hold and then figure out where to go to so i'm taking this house because we heard some people i know what people went inside and i can kind of hear them at this point next to me so you'll see right here i find this dude again maliac just wrecks him the only downside here is 30 round mag but it really didn't get me into any trouble with the gameplay here so again we're gonna reload um you'll see here again like i didn't even fully plate back up so i had probably about two plates at that point because i have a temper vest down that dude get the kill um i was about to mortar but didn't so at this point uh the rest of my team on their way up so jug just got here and we're kind of just calling these guys out now here chase downs a guy in the building here through a w or that window so i come in gonna clean him up but he ends up killing himself he must have not had a self so he must have been a fresh spawn um now fast forward this is we had taken a lighthouse here but 
obviously the circle pushed us out at that point so we moved from the house to lighthouse held it down now over here with the circle put pulls we're gonna move over so there's a few more teams left you can see these guys parachuting um and you know with just the way they're moving is smart because the circle's wide and this is not built for um those ranges but again able to shoot one down there and then that guy some is lucky enough to get in the house Thankfully, I have a gas mask, and we have high ground here on the circle. We do get lucky with the circle pull here, which is really nice to see. Um, usually, <laughs> you're a victim of the circle, and it pulls the opposite way. So, again, this dude on the roof, down him immediately. He must have been a fresh drop in, too. This guy here, I'm going to go ahead and mount. He landed in the gas, so he was probably already taking damage. But, again, just able to mount at those ranges where it would be a little bit iffy. Now here, because of the circle pull, I'm going to use my gas mask and shift over. Now, Chase dies here, but I do have a redeploy flare that I will use here. Um, but this is where it gets crazy. Like, I I was not anticipating the circle to move this slow. So my gas mask ran out. I am right now just freaking out because it's going so slow. It looked like it wasn't even moving. And here we go, finally... Uh, it gets to me. So I'm able to use myself. Um, even if I couldn't, I had teammates there. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, revive myself. Get chased back with the redeploy flare, which is clutch. Because now we're a four-man with uh, two other teams left at this point. And it looks like three other players. But I believe there's a buyback here in a minute too. But I then down that guy by the truck. This guy in the window, I can't believe I didn't get the down. Because I had broken him twice. Um... And at this point, again, we're just kind of, we need to move. There's two more teams. It looks like a total of um, three other players. So it's 4v1v2 probably. Um, so uh, Jug has a PDS there, which he uses briefly. I'm going to go ahead and move down because at that point, I'm like kind of freaking out because the PDS. I wasn't sure. And we're, we would have to move anyways, and I didn't have a gas mask. So I kind of took the brunt of that and use myself as a distraction team's gonna get me up the other guys here are floating you can see one just landed on the roof so i'm gonna get up try and get myself in position plate they're, they're just shooting this dude on the roof he's gonna drop down i attack stance kill and here the kill cam i didn't even see this guy that chase ends up getting the final kill so we were all about to die here pretty much um i would have gone down first but the but chase kills this guy so you can see here like chase jumps out and I think that guy like went past him and Chase turns around and kills him. And I'm right there about to go up the stairs. So I didn't even see this guy. So I think like as soon as he died, his body disappeared or something. I don't know. I didn't know. I didn't even see him running. But crazy finish. Again, the Maliac works out really, really well here in this gameplay. And there was some other gameplay in there that I cut out that it was just, again, hitting uh, really hard. A lot of downs, especially as a sniper support weapon. You know, it's not close, close quarters because I have a longer barrel build. But... It still hits really, really hard. Pairing it with the sniper worked really well. I had a lot of downs, especially in that initial house we moved to. We had a lot of fights in there, which I, we were able to successfully fight through and had third parties, and it was crazy. But I cut that out just because it was a lot of a lot of stuff. But that's the Maliuk. Let me know what you guys think of the gameplay. What do you think of Rebirth Island so far in Season 3? Initially, it was really frustrating for me. Uh, then I revisited it and just kind of you know took a different approach to it. We had some much better servers the day after, so I think Ricochet probably, uh, after the release, I think Ricochet um, kind of did some updates here, which is what it seems like, because this day was really good. Let me know your thoughts down below. Modern Warfare 2 weapons. What weapons are you using on Rebirth Island? Are you liking it, not liking it? Until next time, Buffering Gaming, out.